I'm Steve Friscoe, co-owner with Mike Peterson of Premier Equine Auctions, and we're the producer of the USTRC Select Rope Horse Sale being held here this week during the USTRC Finals. We really enjoy this pre preview format because we were able to live stream. We were able to preview and catalog order, and, uh, and that gave everybody an opportunity to keep up, to focus on one certain horse at a time. And it, we also did it right here in jackpot conditions. The cattle were strong. We, we set up a demo not to hide a bad one, but to expose a good one. And so that's, that's kind of the jest behind it. And it gives you an opportunity to watch these horses repeatedly do their job um, right here for everybody to see. We think that the customer, the consumer, has a good opportunity now with a whole day tomorrow to visit with the consigners to uh, be pretty confident in what they're going to do at the auction tomorrow night. Quality of team roping horses nowadays, man, there's just a lot of, just there's a difference between a team roping horse and a horse you can rope on. And, and, and now when you come to these events, you know, this is high stakes poker. You, you, can't, you can't take a knife to a gunfight and you can't ride a jackass at a big event like this. You gotta have you a nice horse. And uh, the way they, the starts are now and the cattle are now, I don't care if you're roping in the eight and a half. You gotta, you gotta have a horse. And so uh, everybody knows it, the quality of horses. You used to go to a jackpot and you could walk all the way around blindfolded and never touch a good one. Now you can walk around blindfolded and never touch a bad one. So. Uh, it's a, it's a whole new ball game. The, the horse sale industry has come to a new place now to where, you know, when I first started in this occupation, a horse sale was where you got rid of a bad one. And we had the reputation of that. But over the years and now and through decades of, of high quality horsemanship, now is a place where uh, people either build a product or this is how they supplement their income but the level of integrity and the level of quality of horsemanship and, and the, the level of representation is, is higher than it's ever been. It's, it's, it's more user friendly, it's, it's a safer environment. You know, you're not buying four wheelers where you just get to pick your color and drive off into the sunset. You still have to match equine with human and, and that's still an ongoing process all the time. But the level of integrity, just like here, nobody came to do anything to anybody. They've had these horses for a long time. They know about their soundness. They know about their habits. They've been roping on them. A lot of them entered in the jackpots here. They know that they, they have to do this right. You're gonna give a lot of money for a nice horse. It needs to be just like we said. And so, that being said, uh, everybody kind of knows that. It's a whole different ball game now than it was when I was a young man getting started in this. Uh, we we want to promote a nice horse and so do these consigners. So for the most part, you know, you still got to do your job as a buyer, but, but it's not like buying a bicycle, but it's a more user-friendly, favorable environment than it used to be decades ago. The horse auction industry is, in my opinion, at an all-time high. I've been doing this about 40 years. Uh, we sell riding horses for 100,000 now at, at equine auctions. And so, uh, you know, and more than that, we, we've, you know, so you're seeing a, a very strong market. And for, the, for the, just the average guy to have a really nice horse and to go team rope or, or trail ride, punch cows, whatever they're going to do. But, but the horse has, has reached an all-time value that we've not done before. And I think that, that the, the American people, well, I know worldwide, that people have, have fell in, fallen back in love with the Western way of life. A lot of people who, who don't have a Western heritage now want to participate in the Western way of life. The Western way of life is a main staple of the United States of America and worldwide, you know, from, from Japan all across the globe. They, they, they've been in love with John Wayne for a long time and now a lot of people just want to have a nice horse and go team rope or team pin or go and enjoy life. And, 
And I think locking people in a room for five months just made them want to get outside and buy a horse more, you know. So uh, the, the horse business is alive and well. Putting on events is a little more difficult. That is, you're not only do you deal with COVID-19, you deal with the politics of everything that goes with renting facilities, having different venues and protocols and all the good stuff that goes with COVID-19. But you know what? Cowboys are a pretty resilient bunch. So we kind of told COVID to fly a kite and we're all kind of doing this anyhow. So, uh, you know, we'll just, we'll just trust in God and saddle our horses and do it anyhow. So it's good.